Now in this session, I want to actually um, turn these curves into some three-dimensional geometry. And to do that, we would need some profile sections. Um, we will need some profile sections and we will need some orthogonal curves that actually um, that we can align our profiles to. So I'm going to create a new layer, call it the uh, profiles. And let's give this another color. Uh, this time I'm going to make it lighter green. Turn to that one. And uh, under line cascade, we used tangent from curve. This time we will use perpendicular from curve to align our uh, profiles. So this one is actually pretty straightforward. You can click on any of the curves and choose from first point. And any direction you can draw this curve, it will be perpendicular to, to this curve, right? But we, we are interested more in the uh, z-axis for these guys. And remember that I have followed um, the box for the green and red curves. So I'm going to actually just copy this to the other curves so that they would um, have the perpendicular geometry. Uh, but for these guys, we need uh, another perpendicular geometry. So for that one, I'm going to do perpendicular from curve again. I'll go to from first point and I'll just draw, let's say, a line like that, right? And I'll do it here as well from first point and draw a line click here from first point row line now you may not get the right alignment we want uh, but the point is that we just want to draw a line there that will give us kind of an estimate orientation right for instance I didn't get this one uh, quite right right but I, I can always fix that by enabling the tangent curves I'll rename this as tangent and what I want to do is rotate this guy along, along this axis so that we can align it a bit better. So I'll switch to rotate 3D. And I want to rotate this guy in 3D. And to do that, I need to define an axis. And I'll just trace this blue axis. And I'm going to choose the end point. And now I can rotate this any way I want, right? So I want to give it kind of a direction uh, that is kind of steady, um, that kind of conforms to the curvature of these curves, right? So the other one, I think they look pretty okay. Now that my profile is set, I'm going to turn off my tangents. Now I need a profile and I'm going to just do a quick polygon. And that polygon, let's make it, um, let's say profile polygon. And this one, I'll just make it uh, a four-sided polygon. So you can just draw it like that. Now this is a bit too big, so I'm going to scale it down 0.2. Now what I want to do is orient this onto the curve. Uh, so I'm going to type up orient. I want to orient this geometry. And it asks me for a reference point. So it will ask, actually ask me two. So I'll just choose this top point and this bottom point. And I'll enable copy. And then I'll come in to my profiles and I can just click on these axes as reference. And what it will do is it would actually populate uh, the profile along these, um, these curves, right? So I get, I get kind of a nice orientation and some of these would be actually turning in 3D. Now that is done, um, the last step, I'll just go to sweep and I'm going to sweep these geometries. Now, um, this one is pretty straightforward. You just select the rail and select the profiles you want to sweep. And I'll select all the profiles that are on this curve, right? So these four are on this curve and make sure your um, your connections or the, the, the way these profiles are connected is the same. So these uh, points and arrows actually show you how these profiles will be connected or swept, right? If one of these points is um, somewhere else, then uh, you would have a twisting, um, twisting sweep. And that's something we don't want in this case. So make sure that these points are exactly 
on the right point on the profiles and their directions are consistent. And I'm doing just a free form um, sweep with no rebuild. So those two are done. Now I'll do the in between ones. Uh, it's pretty much the same way and I'll just use these profiles that are inside. And I'll do one here like that. Now let's look at what we have done in 3D. Um, that actually looks pretty good. So you can see that um, uh, our profiles are blending pretty pretty well once they merge um, on the thing itself. So uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and show you another trick to turn this into 3D. Um, you can actually mirror this three ways. Um, I'm going to mirror it on this point and I'm going to mirror it using three point mirror. Um, I think this was the top one and draw a plane like that. This one is actually a bit intersecting. This is, I think, a bit more uh, higher. I'm actually going to do it here. Three points here, here, and then draw a plane. And these two didn't line up, but it's okay. I just wanted to show you something cool. So you can just um, mirror these guys and you will get an interesting um, design like that, right? So this, this is a lot of mirror symmetries, but basically we, we just modeled the quadrant of it using these networking curves and um, it came out uh, with something like this.